How did Lenin galvanize the masses towards the ultimate revolution? Of October 1917 in Russia. Surprisingly, Vladimir Lenin, born Vladimir Ilyich Ulyanov, was not born of the proletariat, but instead came from a middle-class family in Simbirsk, Russia. His father, Ilya Nikolaevich Ulyanov, was a school inspector and a devout Orthodox Christian, while his mother, Maria Alexandrovna Ulyanova, was the daughter of a physician. Vladimir Lenin's early political activism was influenced by his experiences and observations of social inequality and repression in Tsarist Russia. He became involved in revolutionary circles while studying law at Kazan University, where he was exposed to the ideas of Karl Marx. A tragic incident occurred on March 1st, 1887. Lenin's older brother, Alexander, aged 21, was arrested and then executed due to his involvement with a group of revolutionaries attempting to detonate a bomb near the train of Tsar Alexander III. This had a profound effect on Lenin and his commitment to revolutionary politics deepened. In 1895, Vladimir Lenin faced arrest and then exiled to Siberia for three years for his revolutionary activities. He used this time for reading and writing revolutionary texts, which cemented his prominence within the Russian Social Democratic Labour Party, RSDLP, advocating for a more militant, revolutionary approach. In 1903, the RSDLP split into two factions, the Bolsheviks, meaning majority, led by Lenin, and the Mensheviks, meaning minority, led by Julius Martov and Pavel Axelrod, and initially, Leon Trotsky. The split was primarily over issues of party organization and strategy. Lenin argued for a smaller, more disciplined party of professional revolutionaries, while the Mensheviks favored a broader, more inclusive approach. Under Lenin's leadership, the Bolsheviks worked to build support among workers and peasants, organizing strikes, protests, and other forms of resistance against the Tsarist regime. In his political writings, including works like What is to be Done, he expressed his concept for a leading party that would guide the working class towards revolutionary change. During this period, Tsar Nicholas II's autocratic rule was characterized by political repression, censorship, and limited civil liberties. The government's heavy-handed response to dissent, including the use of violence and suppression of political opposition, alienated large segments of society and incited opposition to the regime. Also, Russia's involvement in World War I exacerbated existing social and economic problems. The war led to food shortages, inflation, and widespread suffering among the civilian population. Military defeats further fueled discontent and eroded confidence in the government's ability to address the crisis. The Bolsheviks had a clear and radical message that resonated with the masses. They promised an end to the war, redistribute land to peasants and gain workers' control of industry, hence appealing to the grievances of soldiers, peasants and urban workers. The Tsarist regime was beset by internal divisions, corruption and incompetence. Nicholas II's indecisiveness and reliance on advisers, particularly the infamous Rasputin, undermined confidence in his leadership and the effectiveness of the government. By 1917, Lenin's Bolshevik party had grown in strength and influence, and even though he was himself in exile in Switzerland, he ignited revolutionary movements in Russia, playing a central role in the downfall of the Tsarist regime during the February Revolution. The provisional government under Alexander Kerensky, however, was weak and unpopular. The government faced challenges in formulating effective policies due to internal political divisions and the disintegration of state institutions. It failed to address key issues such as ending Russia's involvement in World War I, leading to widespread discontent and disillusionment among the population. Lenin returned to Petrograd in April 1917 and the Bolsheviks seized the opportunity presented by the chaotic political situation in Russia. Along with Leon Trotsky, who transitioned from the Mensheviks, and Joseph Stalin, 
They acted decisively when the provisional government's authority was eroding, taking advantage of the discontent and confusion to stage their coup. Overall, the combination of Lenin's strong leadership, a compelling message, effective organization, and strategic timing enabled the Bolsheviks to successfully seize power in the October Revolution and establish the world's first socialist state.